You've seen this before and it has a name. Sometimes it's called the Missile Circus, but it's better known as the Itano Circus. Named after animator Ichiro Itano, one of the first big names in the Sakuga world. Ichiro Itano is not a one-trick pony. He revolutionized the way action scenes are depicted in anime. He entered the industry in an age when battles routinely looked like this. <laughs> so, <laughs> you got cuts of things shooting, cuts of things getting shot at. It's pretty boring, right? And the camera is far removed from the action. Stuff is just moving left and right in this flat cartoon world. Now, here comes Ichiro Itano working on his first TV show, which is the original Mobile Suit Gun. He doesn't revolutionize anime overnight, but you can see in his scenes how he's starting to get the camera into the action. He's letting things move in three dimensions. He's trying to accommodate multiple subjects in the same shot. Itano continued to develop his idea in the next TV show by Gundam creator Yoshiyuki Tomino. Here's its name. So now you can really see him breaking out of the old paradigm of static battle scenes. Instead, we're seeing a fantastical display of robots and projectiles weaving around the camera in an intricate ballet. This made fans stand up and notice the power of animation, cementing Itano's name to the Sakuga Hall of Fame and inspiring a new generation of animators to make visceral and, imag and imaginative battle scenes. In the ending movie for the series, we see Itano's choreography at his full maturity. Here it is. Now, I think that robot's a fire truck. No, I'm serious. I'm serious about that. I think it is a fire truck. So that one interesting tidbit about this movie is that it's like super apocalyptic and like all the characters die horribly, just all throughout the thing. It was a, it's a direct inspiration to Evangelion. A end of Evangelion. End of Evangelion. There's actually this this amazing scene, like once you know all the the good characters start you know trying to defend their ship at the last minute, and you get to see this um, like eight year old girl in a spacesuit with like the mom trying to protect her, and she just totally gets her head like ripped right off by this laser beam. It's absolutely horrific. They have compilation videos on YouTube of all the gruesome deaths in the show. <laughs> and then like the last video. Yeah. Really? Nice. Awesome. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ichiro would later work on Macross, where missile circuses, are, missile circuses are a staple. Ichiro said that he originally got the idea from something he did as a kid. He attached a bunch of rockets to his bicycle and rode around as the rockets flew off in every direction. It's anecdotal, but it's such a legend of anime that you'll see it referenced here and there, like in this clip from Haruhi, Suzumiya Haruhi. It's also why no health insurance company will take him. <laughs> All right, that's it. So. We're going to move on to Neil again with Ohira and Hashimoto.